when a computer like this one right here is connected to a network with a wired connection, its network interface card has a 12-digit burned-in address that the manufacturer of that card gave to it. In this nugget, I'd like to chat with you about some details regarding that layer two address and how you can discover what that layer two address is on this network interface card, whether you're on Linux, Mac, or Windows. And one of the curious things about these burned in layer two ethernet addresses that exist here on computer two for its network interface card, here on computer one for its network interface card, the printer's network interface card, the network interface card that's being used by the access point, it has one this server as well, it's got one. One of the interesting things about that address is that it could have several different names. And here are some of the names that it could be referred to as. That 12 digit address could be referred to as a layer two address or a physical address or an ethernet address or a hardware address. It's all referring to that 12 character number that's assigned to the network interface card. Now that 12 digit number on that network interface card, it is in something called hexadecimal. Now have no fear, decimal, which we are normal and uh, which we normally use is zero through nine. That's probably because we have 10 digits and zero through nine is 10. But in hexadecimal, or we can call it hex for short, it goes zero through nine and it continues on with A through F. So we could just summarize that by saying it's zero through F, which is a total of 16 different positions. So let's start here on this Windows computer. Now there's several flavors of Windows and there's several flavors of Windows 10 and there's also several flavors of Windows Server, but the concept of the process is basically the same. We're gonna go to a command line interface. So it, that may be PowerShell or it may be a command prompt. Either one will do great. On this Windows computer, we're gonna click on the Windows icon, the bottom left-hand corner. I'm gonna type in CMD, short for command prompt, and then go ahead and launch command prompt. So here at the command line, on this Windows computer, we're gonna type in ipconfig space forward slash A-L-L. -L. So it's ipconfig space forward slash all. And the output we're looking for is the details for ethernet zero on this specific computer. So we'll press enter. And here in the output of that command, ipconfig slash all, it has the information for Ethernet 0, including its IP address. That's the layer 3 logical address. It also has the physical address, which is the layer 2 Ethernet address associated with this network adapter. So that is the layer 2 address for this network interface card on this computer. Next, let's take a look at the command that we could use on a Linux computer or a Macintosh computer to also discover what the layer 2 address is on that type of system. So here we're looking at a Linux-based operating system, but the commands that we're gonna run here on this Linux system to see the layer two address is the same that we'd run from the command line interface on a Macintosh. So we'll go to a command line. In this case, we're gonna launch an application called Terminal, which will give us a command line interface on this Linux platform. And let me scooch this a little bit over to the right. And the command we're gonna issue is ifconfig. Now on Windows, it was ipconfig. And on the Linux and the Mac, it's ifconfig for interface config. So we'll type ifconfig, press enter. And so here for Ethernet 0, we have the layer 3 address. That's the IP address, the IPv4 address specifically. And then we also have the layer 2 address right here. So this is the layer 2 address or the physical address or the burned in address or the Ethernet address that's associated with this network interface card on this Linux system. And that command, ifconfig, would also be the command on a Macintosh that we could use to determine the layer two address on that system as well. In this video, we've taken a look at the characteristics of a layer two address on a network interface card on an ethernet network and some of the names it goes by. We also identified a couple commands we can use to view that information on a computer, whether it's Macintosh, Linux, or Windows. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to Thank you for viewing.